Has the offer been accepted? Almost immediately. By a reliable party? Ex-military. Elite unit will be providing some assistance on the technical side. Well, it's not just him we need dead. It's anyone even remotely associated with him. Well, the posting was quite explicit in this regard, man. Scorched earth. Led by Burton, the ex-military men armed themselves against the approaching mercenaries. Using a military-grade tech implant on their arms, the group links to the overhead drones, thus allowing them to see their opponents in the dark. While the men get their firearms, Flynn heads to the house to check on her mom. Thanks to the drone's night vision view, Burton and his friends easily wipe out the mercenaries in a clean swoop. However, the tables turn very quickly when their opponents hack the drone system and bring in a wave of reinforcements. The new mercenary batch gains the upper hand and presses the group into a defensive position, as their ammo is almost running out. However, right before the assassins can get to them, a visiting Connor takes out all the reinforcements in a killing spree, much to his friend's relief. After defeating their targets, the group investigates who those mercenaries were and why they were attacked. To find answers to their questions, Flynn chooses to revisit the game and gain clarity on the situation. Unlike last time, Flynn doesn't find herself in Burton's avatar, but in a body that's a mirror replica of hers. There, she's approached by Wilf, the same man who warned her about the coming mercenaries. Wasting no time, the mysterious man divulges the secrets of the Sim world and its connection to her reality. It turns out the VR universe isn't a game like Flynn was previously made to believe, but actually the real world, almost 70 years in the future. Wilf explains that in 2100, technological advancements have been made such that people's consciousnesses can be transferred into human-like bots known as peripherals. As a result, humans from various places and times in history can be transported to the future. After the overwhelming explanation, Wilf reveals Alita is missing and asks for Flynn's help in finding her. Naturally, the gamer finds his lecture absurd and instantly asks the mystery man to prove it. Having anticipated her disbelief, Wilf notes he's aware of Ella's illness and shows the gamer a newspaper from the future, highlighting her mother's death. Reading the page, Flynn discovers her mom is scheduled to die from a brain tumor four weeks from her current time. Despite the depressing news, Wilf reveals Flynn can still save her mum and offers her a deal. He explains they have a drug with 100% efficacy for brain tumors in the future and volunteers to send it to her world in exchange for Flynn's help finding Alita. The gamer immediately accepts the offer and returns to her world for her mom's treatment. After removing the headset, Flynn spots Burton and his friends burying the mercenaries' bodies. Anxious to save her mom, she swiftly gets the unpatented drug sent by Wilf at the local pharmacy and administers it to Ella right before telling Burton all that happened in the VR world. Hearing the unbelievable story, Burton suggests Flynn heads back to get more details. Later that day, the gamer puts on the headset and returns to the future. There she meets Wilf again, but this time he gives a more detailed explanation. The mystery man introduces her to three others. Lev Zabov, his rich employer, as well as Ash and Ossian, a tech-savvy couple tasked with maintaining the connection between their two worlds and working for Lev. Discussing with the group, Flynn learns about a phenomenon known as the Stub, a parallel timeline completely different from the current future. It turns out that when a human from the past visits the future, that exposure causes a change in world events. The alteration in history prompts the formation of several timelines that branch off from the normal flow of time. As a result, separate worlds, each with its own specific timelines and unique events, are formed every time someone visits from the past. After the briefing, Lev steers the conversation to Alita and gives some basic info on her. He reveals the missing woman was an employee at the Research Institute, who he paid to steal valuable data from the organization. However, once she obtained the data, Alita disappeared without a trace. As a result, Lev explains they'd like to find her alongside the data and asks for Flynn's assistance. The gamer promises to aid their search, but only agrees to help if Wilf's drug works and her mom recovers. Hearing this condition, 
Ash reveals the drug only has a 57% recovery rate and not a 100% efficacy value like Wilf had led her to believe. Feeling betrayed by his misleading info, Flynn emphasizes she will not help unless her mom recovers and angrily returns to her world. Before she leaves, Lev doesn't reveal the entities after her, but offers to send the gamer $250,000 to buy weapons and protect herself and family from future attacks. Meanwhile, back in the present, Tommy, while policing the neighborhood, discovers a pair of invisible cars left behind by the mercenaries from the future. While investigating the area, he meets Burton and questions him about it. Scared of the policeman uncovering the assassin's dead bodies, Burton feigns ignorance and denies knowing anything about them. When the deputy leaves, Flynn returns from the future and briefs Burton about her visit. Hours later, Lev keeps his word and sends them the money, but does so in the form of a raffle win to avoid it being traced. That night, the duo's cousin wins a $250,000 lottery in their local bar, sponsored by Lev. As they celebrate the lottery, Corbel Pickett, the leader of the black market thugs, salutes the trio and sends them drinks. Flynn stares at the criminal menacingly and ignores his gesture as she discusses setting up a protection squad with her brother. She explains they'd need all the help they can get and suggests he asks Connor to join their guard unit. Having a complicated friendship with the cripple, Burton is hesitant about recruiting him into their group. However, when Flynn presses the subject, he eventually gives in and heads to Connor's house to ask for help. Meanwhile, over at Corbel's villa, the local ringleader plays a sim where he is approached by a well-dressed man offering a business proposal. The unknown figure presents him with a sum of $10 million in exchange for the assassination of Flynn and Burton. He offers to pay 25% of the price as an initial payment, with the remainder transferred after completing the job. Finding the proposal quite sketchy, Corbel fears the man is a cop trying to set him up and instantly rejects the offer as he logs out of the sim. However, later that night, the ringleader reevaluates his decision when he receives the initial $2.5 million promised by the mystery man. Later that night, Flynn returns home and hears suspicious sounds from the kitchen. Heading to investigate, she is shocked to find her blind mom navigating the kitchen completely unaided. Upon questioning, Ella reveals the drug from earlier worked as she's no longer feeling sick and has fully regained her eyesight. Learning this, Flynn leaps for joy and embraces her mom as the duo shares an emotional moment together.